Apple's losing its sense of design. With the brand new iPhone 15 being unveiled last week, a lot of people have mentioned that the iPhone 15 looks nearly identical to the iPhone 14. I mean, yeah, the colors are different and the 15 has dynamic island and USB-C, but in general, the phone looks so much like the 14 and every single other iPhone before that. The 15's design was not a foldable design everybody was looking forward to. There was also no iPhone 15 Ultra with a new design as well. Everything's pretty old and stale and similar to what we are used to. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If you look at Samsung phones, their design has a lot of variation with the foldable variant, a flip variant. It has more variants than Loki. If you look at the MacBook in general, the overall design looks relatively the same as the previous MacBooks. Specifically, the MacBooks with the ports and a more square design is what we're used to. The Mac Mini also looks similar to the older Mac Minis with just slight variation since it's come out. However, Mac computers did evolve a lot more than Apple phones. Granted, it has a lot more time to change its design, but still we can really see the difference. For example, look at Apple One. This was released in 1976, and this computer was a desktop computer with a single motherboard. Later on, Apple introduced the Apple II with the integrated keyboard and expansion slots for a floppy disk. That computer definitely does not look like the MacBook of today. There's a big difference. It's not even close. Then we had the Macintosh 128K, which was iconic. It played a large role in office spaces and released in 1984, this Macintosh had a built-in screen. It was a change in personal computing and was really revolutionary at the time. It was a game changer. Now fast forward to today's laptops. If you go around 10 years back, they all kind of look the same. That variation is not there with no major revolution in computing. The biggest problem was we had Apple constantly trying to slim them down, making a need for docks and dongles, and there was no more USB-C ports or ports in general. While the 2021 MacBook Pro, which is what I use, reintroduced ports, there's still a need for a dock, and that's where today's sponsor, RayQ, comes in. This is the RayQ 128. It's essentially a computer dock, but it has a few more functions. First, the design is reminiscent of the original 128K computer released by Apple. The RayQ 128 gives off that retro vibe and looks awesome on my desk space. It has a vintage Apple style that brings you back to the past and adds a little bit of flair and style to your desk. But besides the design, the RayQ 128 also has some pretty good functionality too. Like there's a real point of having this on your desk. It has a 100 watt power delivery, for fast delivery charging, it's compatible with Mac, Windows, and even Chrome OS. And it also has 13 ports and card readers in total with two USB-A ports, a USB-C port, an audio in and out port, and two SD cards at the front. At the back, we have two HDMI ports, another USB 3.0 port, and two USB 2.0 port. It has an ethernet cable and a USB-C host port as well, which rounds out the 13. While the MacBook Pro that I use and the newer ones have ports, there's nothing like the ability to plug into the RayQ 120 and get used with even more peripherals with your computer. For example, my MacBook doesn't have an Ethernet cable, but this does. The RayQ 128 Pro version also has some cool features like a Bluetooth speaker. It has the ability to display photos, kind of like a wallpaper kind of thing, and more. What I like most about the RayQ is the clock function that gives the ability to have different clock faces on your desk. You can also customize it in the app as well to tailor it to your liking. The 128K is just such a good productivity device, especially for me, because it really allows me to plug in my external SSD cards, maybe an SD card, whatever I really need to edit photos or videos or just get things done. And if you're on the go, RayQ also has made a 128K pocket, which design-wise, it mimics a keyboard. This is a seven-in-one USB-C hub with an HDMI port, an SD and mini SD card slot, a USB-A 3.0 slot, and a USB-C 3.0 slot. It also has the ability to power delivery up to 60 watts for charging your MacBook Air or any of your other devices. Just know that the 128K pocket is what you'd bring when you are on the go. So if you wanna check out their products, go ahead and click the link in the description to their Kickstarter. Going back to Apple and comparing it to other companies that have been designing popular products throughout the years, you can see that with most iterations, the design language has changed. Looking at Nintendo, they released the Game Boy in 1989, then a Game Boy Color in 1998. 
I actually still have my Game Boy today that I had when I was nine and it looks pretty beautiful to me. And then after that, they did the Game Boy Advance, the DS, and now we have the Nintendo Switch. Look at those devices. While there are many character aspects, the Game Boys look far apart in terms of design, but still have that Nintendo characteristics in the background of. Apple, on the other hand, at least for the last 20 years or so, have had the same general look and the difference in design is quite minor between each version. That's why vintage products like the Ray Q128 stands out because the new stuff nowadays are getting stale. The old stuff brings us right back to a time when the tech industry was really innovating between each release. Regardless though, the iPhone 15 and the 15 Pro will still sell like hotcakes and the iPhone 15 Pro has already sold out. So, hey, what do I know? Let me know what you think though. Are you a fan of Apple's design these days or do you like the retro vibe? What was your favorite looking Apple product? Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below and special shout out to RayQ for sponsoring in this video. I got a lot of iPhone content coming out, so make sure you stay around for my next video.